Blake's brother, Tyler, um, is a long snapper for them. I remember going to uh, Blake's house for the official visit, and there was scuff marks and holes and everything all over the walls because his brother, Tyler, used to snap it to him, and he would drop it and, and do a light punt in the house. So there was stuff all over the place. or scuff marks on the wall from your brother snapping to you? What was that yeah, like? Yeah, so <laughs> what happened was we'd go down in the basement. It's not a really high basement, but so he, he'd fire some balls back, right? We'd, we'd clear all the stuff. He'd fire some balls back. And I just wanted to kind of tap the ball, um, kind of get a spiral going, you know what I'm saying? Um, and I, I'd hit the ceiling sometimes yeah. and scuff the, the, the ball leaves pretty, pretty significant scuff marks on the ceiling. Um, so that kind of migrated to our foyer outside our living room. Um, so when he walked in the front door, there's like all over the ceiling on the left side, there's there's just pretty much brown, brown scratches like going probably 10 feet or something. Um, it's all over the wall over there. So I, I told my parents that, that I would uh, paint the wall at some point, but haven't gotten around to it. And I, I still I still have that, that promise in here. So um, that's definitely something I need to do in the near future. Maybe during the bye week. Maybe, but the problem is when I go home, I, I sometimes do it. It's kind of a habit, so. Okay. Um, <laughs> kind of revert back to my old self, so. We'll probably talk a little bit more this week, um, just anticipating seeing each other on Saturday, but but nothing nothing too bad. Um, no smack talk yet. Probably say a few things in the field, but that's probably about it. Yeah, I never really, I never really knew the importance of a long snapper until he started snapping. Um, that was probably around seventh grade year. Um, when we really started playing like actual football, um, where you had a whole long snap and punt operation. Um, my dad actually helped him out with that because he snapped in high school as well. Um, so I mean, I, I just kind of got more comfortable with him and I always knew that guy who would snap me the ball. Um, I always felt like I could talk to him, which is really important with that relationship. Um, so I'd say probably brother, uh, brother, punter, and snapper combo was probably the, probably the best you could get. Yeah, I think it's really unique to have two sets of brothers on opposite teams. I'm not sure if there's any if there's any two teams in the country that have that. Um, obviously, we have a lot of family come to the game, a lot of a lot of a lot of friends. Um, he's probably gonna outnumber me though, so um, it, it's kind it's kind of good to have another guy who's kind of going through that same experience um, because it's definitely different. I mean, I've never played against my brother before. I don't really know what it's gonna be like. Um, so definitely having that, that other guy there is going to help help out a lot. I'd say, I mean, I visited both during the recruiting process a lot. I think um, both head coaches really care about their players a lot. Um, I think Pat Fitzgerald is probably um, one of the better coaches in the NCAA. Um, my brother was really attracted to him. He's their uh, special teams coordinator, actually. So I think that's probably a really unique thing that, that they have going there. Um, obviously, I think um, I probably compared our honors college here to kind of their academics. Um, I think that's, he's, he's, he's also um, doing really well academically, um, which is kind of why he picked there. So yeah, they're both, they're both great schools. Obviously, they've had great success in, in football, um, so I'm really looking forward to, to, to matching up on Saturday. I know talking to Mrs. Gillikin this week, she's already got a jersey that's been made that's sewed in half, and she's going to sp spend the first half on one sideline and then the next half on the other one. So.